Good day, Cloud Girls, and welcome to this week's episode of Azure This Week. It's me, I'm on this screen now. Hi! This week, we'll look at three services from Azure. These include the Azure Data Box Disk, which is now in public preview, the Dev Spaces for Azure Kubernetes Services, which is also in public preview, and then the DevOps Project, which is now in general availability. This is me, Lars Clint, presenting Azure This Week. We'll kick off with the public preview of the Azure Data Box Disk. At MS Ignite in 2017, Microsoft launched the Azure Data Box, a ruggedized, portable, and simple way to move large data sets into Azure. And through customer demand, there is now the Azure Data Box Disk, where Data Box was meant for very large data sets, like we're talking 100 plus terabytes per order. Data Box Disk is meant for smaller data sets uh, and transfers starting at about 40 terabytes. The way it works is that you get a physical storage device that can be plugged in via USB or SATA, and then you just copy your data onto them. You then ship them to the nearest Azure data center, and the data is then uploaded to your storage account. It is generally completed within about a week from shipping. Dev spaces for Azure Kubernetes services. Now, this is a really cool new service from Azure. Like, I like this one. First showed at MS Build in 2018 on stage by none other than Scott Hanselman, Dev Spaces allows you to quickly debug and fix a single application that is nested inside a complex microservices environment. Now, normally to debug any single microservice component in a large application, you have to set up your development environment to mimic your production environment. It's pretty common. We all do this. Now, all developers have to do to start any project, and it can be one of the most frustrating experiences, in particular in a microservices application and environment, you will have to do individual configuration of files and dependencies on other services that all have to be massaged and manipulated to work. It can be a nightmare. Now with dev spaces on Kubernetes, you can get up and running in no time at all, like we're talking minutes. Use a simple command through the Azure CLI and dev spaces create a Kubernetes namespace that only contains the microservices needed right now in your IDE. It is really clever. Azure DevOps Projects helps you launch an app on an Azure app service of your choice in a few quick steps. And it sets up everything you need uh, for developing, deploying, and monitoring your app. Included in the DevOps Project is all necessary Azure resources, a Git repository with application code, automated CI and CD pipeline, application insights integration for monitoring your, your application, a DevOps project dashboard that lets you monitor code, commits, builds, and deployments from a single view in the Azure portal, and a VSTS account and project. Now, using DevOps projects, you can now deploy not only to a web app, such as you know, on your cont container, Windows, or, or Linux, but also to Azure Kubernetes services. And that includes Azure Service Fabric Mesh, uh, Virtual Machines, and Azure SQL databases. This is all we have time for on this episode of Azure This Week. To recap, we looked at Azure Data Box Disk uh, that lets you move large data sets on physical disks to your nearest Azure data center. We had a look into dev spaces for Azure Kubernetes services uh, that is a godsend for debugging and working on microservices within a large complex application. And finally, Azure DevOps Projects, which is a really easy way to get a full development pipeline set up in the cloud. So see you next week for much more Azure goodness. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.